Although we are applying qualitative risk assessment during this course, it may be useful to provide an illustration of how quantitative assessment is undertaken using basic statistical simulation. You may hear some project and risk managers talking about how they have used a Monte Carlo simulation and arrived at some hard numbers. To make the concept of quantitative assessment clearer, let's consider some what-if scenarios on a spreadsheet to see what effect they may have. As an example, I am attempting to prepare a cost estimate for a simple pipeline project. Using the spreadsheet, I include the number of pipes that I need, which is, for the purpose of this illustration, 4,000 bits of pipe. If I estimate the cost per pipe to be $75, then I can determine the cost estimate for the total pipes, which is $300,000. I also know from my project scope that I always undertake some rework, just to ensure the quality of the pipe network is established. I know for sure that I undertake the rework, but what I am unsure about is if this is the exact amount. Hence I will need to add an allowance for rework, which I estimate to be $30,000 or 10% of the $300,000. Now I need to make an estimate for the risks or assessed level of uncertainty for my pipeline project. I am going to estimate this to be $4 per pipe, adding a contingency of $16,000 to the cost estimate. So all up, my materials plus allowance plus contingency equals 346000 Having a conversation with the project team, I quickly realised that there may be some variation to both the allowance and contingency. For example, the rework that I estimated to be $30,000 could be as low as $28,000 or as high as $32,000. So I end up with a range of dollars for this particular variable. Let's just say that we may also see some variation in the contingency. It could be as low as $3 and up to as high as $8, but most likely I think it will be $4. So using the spreadsheet software, it is now possible for me to go in and make a change to one of these variables and then see the outcome. For example, it is easy to see what would happen if I now change rework from $30,000 to $28,000. I can also change contingency from say $4 to now $7. However, it becomes a bit more challenging if I wanted to change both variables simultaneously. Here is where the Monte Carlo software can assist. So if I now open up this particular software, you can see that it appears to sit over the top of the spreadsheet and has been designed to give it a boost. So what I am now going to illustrate is with the assistance of the software undertaking 5,000 what-ifs. To do this, I first need to let the software know what it has to do. We call this defining the assumptions. So for rework, I click on the define assumption and I might select the rectangle. I am then asked to specify the minimum, which I determined to be 28,000, and maximum, which I said was 32,000. When I hit enter and OK, we now see that it has been highlighted. Now I do the same for the second variable, risks or contingency. This time I might select a triangle and then specify the amount of $3, maximum of 8 with most likely set at 4. This time when I hit enter and OK, the triangle distribution skews out to the right. Now that I have defined the assumptions, I am ready to run the 5000 what ifs simultaneously. You can see that I have specified 5,000 trials, so when I hit the Start button, we can observe what happens. Now that the 5,000 trials have been completed, I can now move along the distribution curve to select the cost estimate with probabilities attached. For example, the 50% probability level, or P50, equals approximately 352,000. This means that there is a 50% chance that the cost will be above or below $352,000. I can then move up and down to determine, say, the P90 or P70. I can also find out of the two variables as to which one is more sensitive to change. This may be important for the project manager to understand. 
And clearly, here it is the risk or contingency component that is highly sensitive. So through this simple project example, you can see that Monte Carlo simulation is a way of taking some variables and doing a large range of trials simultaneously. This may be useful if you are confident enough to include a number against each of your risks, build in some variance around these risk variables, and then do some modeling using the software. As we always say though, the outputs from the simulation modeling are only as good as the inputs that you use. If you put rubbish into the model, you will receive rubbish out the other end. So if you are going to use this type of quantitative assessment, you need to be comfortable that you have captured and fully understand the variables that you are including in the modeling, as well as the assumptions that you are using.